So when we're out filming with Kentucky Field, we quite frequently encounter some very unique finds. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Check this out. That is cool as that can be. Recently, we were in a stream looking for crayfish. We were actually doing a segment with a company called Go Wild. When the process of trying to catch crayfish, we had some people with us that were not on camera. One of those individuals is with me today. Erica, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Tell me exactly what was going on when we were out trying to locate crayfish. I haven't caught a lot of crayfish in my life, so I'm really trying to look and find them on the ground. And all of a sudden, I see like the base of what I think is an arrowhead. Okay. Um, I've never been, I've never found an arrowhead before, but you know, they have that distinct curvature and the, the stem on them. So I've been down and I pick it up and call over my coworker, Jacob, and say, hey, Jacob, look at this. And he kind of goes bananas and so does everyone else that we're with. When you showed this to me though, even though I am not someone that looks for arrowheads, I immediately said, oh my gosh, I've never seen a spear point that size. Right. And I thought, man, that is an incredible piece. Mm -hmm. So we took a picture of your hand holding this on social media mm -hmm. and it went crazy. It went wild. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people were commenting it's the greatest find ever, then they've never seen anything like it. And then a lot of people were saying that's fake. What we decided is that, hey, we've got some resources. Let's reach out and try to get hold of someone that can tell us more about what a point like this would be used for and find out the big question, which is what? Is it real? Is it real? Yeah. We don't know. We're just amateur, you know, we're creek fishermen people, yeah. right? So we reached out to a gentleman here in Kentucky. His name is Eric Schlarb, and he is a archaeologist and a lithic specialist right here in Kentucky. Eric's had his hands on thousands of these. He is going to come in and let us know what this is, time frame, mm -hmm. and is it real? Right. So let's get Eric in here and find out exactly what we've got. Now we have Eric Schlar with Kentucky Lithic Analysis Services. All right, tell us what you're looking for here. And first off, you've had a little bit of time to look at this point that we brought you. What type of rock is that? It's chert. People usually refer to it as flint, but in archeological jargon, it's, it's called chert, C-H-E-R-T. Okay. This particular chert is what's called St. Genevieve. It's napped very well. It okay. was very good napping material. Okay. So tell us what you're gonna look for here in deciding if this is real and how old it is or a fake, a replica. When I'm looking at an artifact that someone brings me or somebody's found something, the first thing I'd look at is the visual. Is it have the proper flaking pattern? I give it the feel test to see if it's smooth. A freshly made point is gonna have rough, sharp surfaces on it. Then what I do is I'll put it under a microscope and I will look closer at these attributes that say it's a certain point type. So I'll look at how the flaking is. I'll look at how the point is notched. But one of the key things I'm looking for is the presence of silt or dirt in the crevices that will form on the surface of the point or mineral deposits. Authentic points are gonna have mineral deposits that have been created through time by being in the soil, and those crevices are gonna be just jam-packed full of dirt or silt. A newly made point is just not gonna show that. Okay. So that's the things we're looking for. So now, I guess, conduct your analysis and let us know what you think. Well, to sum it up, um, looking at the attributes and, and characteristics displayed by this particular point, unfortunately, I have to say that it, it's a modern reproduction. Oh, really? <laughs> well, you know, it's not what we wanted to hear, obviously. Right. Where it's been flaked, there's fresh crushing on it. And that means that it was recently made. It could have been made 100 years ago, but it was recently made. The other thing that we do is measurements, and it's 115 millimeters long. Very, very big. Very big for the type that, that we're looking at. Width-wise, we're looking at almost 50 millimeters. And then the real key 
is the thickness, which is 13.5 millimeters, okay. which is basically twice as thick as this example right here. Okay. Very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, we really appreciate your time coming in and sharing your 30 plus years. How many years you've been doing this? Well, I've been looking at them since I was 10, so <laughs> that's, I'm 59. <laughs> so Professionally, around 25 years. Well, Eric, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Erica, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I, I truly have learned so much about all of this that I never would have before, so thank you so much. There you go. Thanks for having me.